Those streets from 15 place right. back to St. Elizabeth. You got you got the graveyard, then you got more uh, fields, and then you got mm -hmm. the cemeteries that you're talking about, or cemetery you're talking about, that's further back up in there. Uh, yeah, that's the same with But Robinson Place, that borders <laughs> the Jewish, if you look over, uh -huh. that's the Jewish cemetery, 15 place. Mm -hmm. Robinson Place is only about uh, two blocks up from Alabama Avenue, 15 place. I, I lived on 15 right. place. Oh, oh. Well, right, exactly. I think we'll make that transition. Sure. We'll make that transition. I mean, my, I mean, my, my understanding is there was a gentleman, I cannot remember his name, I was in contact with him about two or three years ago. He's a, he's a some sort of organization for the preservation of Jewish cemeteries, but he was, and he was somehow interested, and he, he told me that there's somehow, <laughs> that the Jewish cemeteries, there's really four of them, or some. He like you can all, see these two of them. Right? He knew all about it. He was very, very interested in the cemetery, the, I think the two cemeteries that you're talking about that have kind of been lost in history. The gentleman, his name is. Addison Carter, Facebook president, he's always posting stuff. His name is like Car Car Addison Carter, Carter Addison. Mm. Something he went for mayor a couple times. He has this book out. He, when they did this um, exhibition at the, Civil, uh, the, Ameri the Community Museum, and something about the Civil War, he was featured. We had like this audio. He kind of he kind of did like a Diane Dale type book. And somehow in his family, in his family is Jacob Moore, who he says was involved with the Moore Cemetery. Mm. Um, and he has interesting... His information about that in the map and stuff like that. But I mean, a lot of this history is very scattered. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's all. Awesome. Uh, was there a synagogue on there? Yeah, that's well, well, on uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, where I think we're coming right into Southwest, was, um, was it Eugene Kinlo? Probably some of you know. So he was telling me that as a, as a, as a child, he thought there was like a little a symbol outside of. Um, a building that said like this was a synagogue. I know there was supposed to be a Jewish history program at the Smithsonian and Costume Museum many years ago, but for some reason it was canceled. Um, but I've heard grapevine that there was a synagogue on Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue, right where if you're coming off the highway and then you make the right, and then it was there. Uh, I'm not well, exactly sure. That would make sure. sense if there's a community here. And it would make perfect sense. It would make perfect sense because otherwise you had to come all the way from. Right, across the bridge. Well, there was, as probably many of you know, there were a lot of uh, Jewish yeah, pharmacists right. in southwest Washington. I mean, Al, Al Jolson grew up in Southwest Washington, and there was other kind of famous, you know, I guess Jewish uh, what, uh, entertainers. And he's come up in there. Okay. Is there any other questions for them? All right. We thank y'all, man. Man. Wow. We're going to have a part two. So we're going to switch up, and then we're going to go into some... He does. <laughs> they do offer tours. Yeah. He do. Okay. And we're going to make that transition unless y'all want to stay up with the long time residents. All right. Oh. My husband. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why don't you share with us your history of the museum? Or, or what else? Uh, about the museum? Yeah. I will. Oh. <laughs> want, I'm going to have to sit. Okay. 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 I should have had power from my husband. But you can see what I'm just real quick. Yeah, I'll come back to me. Do you have a card? I can write the information. Yeah, I don't have it right here. We're going to have two lifetime residents of Southeast. Abdullah Shabazz and Habib Muhammad. Abdullah Mati Shabazz. Email Abdullah Mati Shabazz. Long term resident. Okay, well, my, 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 um, uh, original name is Diane Lawrence. So, she became Muslim and changed to Habib and then married to Muhammad. But I'm very much in this book. I grew up with Diane Dale, pretty much, in, in, in the community. Um, and I was born and raised in the house that we just sold Elvis book. And I had a really nice picture of it that I, that I found at Anacost Museum. I also, so I'm a resident still. See, my parents brought three houses on the street, and um, my husband and I have been in the house, one of the houses that they bought um, for like 20 some years. But am I also a recent retiree of Anacost Smithsonian Museum? And I went up a couple of weeks ago to get some pictures of Ellensville, the buildings, and Martin Luther King. And I found a picture of my home, but I don't think it's in this book, but I didn't have, we didn't get a copy of it yet. But at any rate,